Cheers. It's a good morning. Um, at least here so far. Um, today's video is a little bit different. Eh, or the same, depending on how you what videos you've seen from us. Um, but first of all, let's start off with what's new in the studio. The newest thing in the studio is probably the promotion we're running right now. Um, we are running a promotion for Fox and Robin recording um, that is for anybody who has signed up for FOCO MX, which in Northern Colorado is a multi-day, multi-venue uh, concert event. Um, there's multiple artists, bands, so on and so forth that play, comedians. It's it's great. Um but if you have signed up for that, if your band is a part of it or, you know, you're an artist who's gotten linked with it and you can prove to us that you've done it, um, that you're part of this for this 2023 season, um, for the month of April, we are giving you a 50% discount. And you might say, wow, that's true. We are. We're doing it. It's a promotion. We run it every year. So if you're an artist and you're a band and you're looking to record, mix or master some projects, hit us up. Um, he's at foxandrobin.com. I'm sorry, it's foxandrobinrec.com. Forgot my own website. Anyways, head us up at our website or on Instagram or YouTube or whatever. And uh, we've already sent some of the flyers out to some of the bands already. But if you ha aren't, haven't seen it from us and are looking to record or just need a space to mix and master your own stuff or record drums or something, whatever you need, we're cutting a discount to all those artists who are playing um, as a promotional deal for us. So that's what's new. And on to our next video. I'm going to take a cup of coffee. It's a good day for coffee. Anyways, today is um, a new video that we're going to do here. And it's basically on acoustics. Uh, room acoustics, uh, acoustic panels. We've got a short we've done about it. Um, that may have already aired by the time this video is, is out. Um, actually, I think they're going to air on the same day. Now that I think about it. Anyways, acoustics. You know, I've done it on panels, and we have multiple panels around here. We've got, um, there, our panels are made out of Owens Corning 703. They're two inch by, f they're two inch thick by four foot by two foot. Kind of the, they're four foot, four foot long, two foot wide. And um, they're wrapped in fabric, and the fabric does matter. Um, you want it breathable. But basically, these panels are controlling the acoustics in our room. Uh, they're making it so drums sound nice and even. You know, I'm mixing in a room that's not too reverberant. There's not a lot of reverb, not a lot of echo that's happening. Um, you may be able to hear it in the mics that I'm using right now for this video. Um, but if I go over here and I kind of clap, As I'm clapping over there, you might be able to hear some of the reverberance of like the kitchen area, um, maybe our live room a little bit because we are op we have an open area to our live room. It's not it's not a sealed off live room, um, and you know you might be able to hear some of that. But curtains help. We have curtains here and behind us. We have a panel behind us here too that helps. But curtains help too. Um, they don't help a ton now given. Um, like we have fairly thick curtains, they're blackout curtains, so they're thicker. So they do help absorb some of that high end information, but you kind of want to control what's bouncing up and down and side to side. So in a square or rectangular room, you want to do the floor and the ceiling because you got a re you got reverberation happening there. Bounce. We've got a rug down below because we have linoleum floor in here. So, um, so there's a carpet below us, and then I've got acoustic panels that I bought from Amazon. They're I'm not even sure what they're made out of. They're adhesive. They stick to the ceiling. They've actually helped control this room quite a bit. Um, might get more of them. They're super cheap. They're like $30 for 12 of them. They're super cheap. If you can find them, start with those. If you can't afford to do the big panels, you know, or can't build your own panels, start with that because it's at least something to get you in the right way. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing an entire room in Aralex foam. Um, foam does help but the foam doesn't quite absorb everything the way it needs like say a broadband which is what like a panel that's made out of insulation is kind of considered a broadband where it kind of absorbs a little bit of everything um a panel like that 
is great because um, it gets your low end and your high end and your mid range. Where acoustic foam panels, they're not dense enough to get all of your mid range. Um, they'll they'll tame the high frequencies, but they'll make your room sound really muddy if you're if you're not careful. Um, which we do have some foam around here. We've got some foam panels that are kind of left over from various projects that have helped, but it's not the entire room. We've kind of got a mix. And honestly, I think the best rooms that I've been in are a mix of like carpet and and acoustic panels and foam and you know ceiling tiles. It's kind of and diffusion, which is a whole nother ballpark. But um, but yeah, it's just kind of you gotta you kind of adapt to the room you're in. So as you can tell, we're kind of in a slightly we're in an acoustic treated room or at least a room that's slightly treated because we've got above and below and kind of our front and backs. Um, but yeah, you know, watch our video on what our panels are made out of. I kind of did a little short on them that should air soon. And just kind of take and evaluate your room. Kind of go around and clap if you hear a bunch of extra things kind of bouncing around that you don't want to hear. You want you don't want to hear like you clap and then you hear like da, 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 da. you know, you hear clap 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 clap. clap. You don't want to hear that delay, you know, you don't want to hear that happening in your room. That's, that's not good for mixing or recording really. You know, you don't want to hear that. Um, you want to tame that. And that's basically what acoustic treatment is. It's taming a room. Now, not to get confused with acoustic, um, basically taking a room and making it soundproof. Soundproof is building a room within a room and there's so much more that goes into that. Um, you build a room and then you take that room and you build another room that doesn't touch the other room. So there's air gaps and there's no air gaps. And so you kind of have what's an, essentially a soundproof room. I'm more talking about like, I have a room that's built. I can't really do much about it other than tame the frequencies that are bouncing around inside of it, which are most of the rooms I deal with. Um, I've had home studios my entire life. So this is like iteration number 25, I think, or something like that. But anyways, um, that's our video for the day and you know watch our other ones like and subscribe also thank you to the ones who have liked and subscribed you know do what you can and uh watch our other ones that's all we got to say so thanks for liking thanks for subscribing hit the bell for more notifications and we will see you next time